The Unorthodox Playbook, Episode 6. Welcome, everyone, to Quantum Voice AI, where the future of medicine meets the pulse of innovation. Today, we step into a story that's not fiction, but one that sounds like it should be. Picture this. A man walks into the emergency room. He's not in a panic, not doubled over in pain, just a slight headache maybe a bit of dizziness. He checks in, takes a seat. To the average eye, it's just another patient, just another routine case waiting his turn. But something invisible is already at work. Now, while he waits, an AI-powered triage system begins quietly analyzing his vitals, comparing them against a vast ocean of medical data, past symptoms, lab records, and real-time biometric inputs. In a matter of seconds, it flags something subtle but dangerous, a warning sign so small it might escape even the most seasoned professionals. The alert pings across the system. A doctor gets notified, they rush to intervene, and just like that, a stroke that could have changed everything doesn't that story it's not science fiction it's already unfolding in hospitals across the globe the era of ai in healthcare is not coming it's here humming quietly in the background transforming how lives are saved and care is delivered but this shift isn't about replacing doctors or nurses. No, it's about making their judgment faster, more informed and more precise. It's about turning guesswork into guided decision making. It's about giving time back to the people who need it most. Now imagine this transformation spreading its wings across every layer of healthcare. Behind the scenes, the AI healthcare market is exploding from 32 billion today to an expected 208 billion by the year 2030. A 524% increase in just six years. But this isn't just a number on a projection chart, it's a signal. A signal that healthcare isn't evolving, it's being rebuilt brick by intelligent brick. In radiology labs, AI algorithms trained on millions of images are detecting diseases like breast cancer and diabetic retinopathy with uncanny accuracy spotting patterns the human eye cannot see, reducing false positives and giving doctors more reliable data to act on. In hospital command centers, AI predicts ER traffic before the rush hits, adjusts staff schedules on the fly and ensures critical care teams are ready before the emergencies even walk through the doors. What once required a team of analysts now runs seamlessly through machine learning models that learn and adapt in real time. In pharmaceutical labs, what used to take over a decade and billions of dollars discovering new drugs is being compressed into months AI simulates how molecules might interact, filters out ineffective compounds, and flags the ones worth testing in real life. Already the world's first AI-designed drug is in clinical trials. 
What does that mean for rare diseases, for personalized treatments, for pandemics we haven't even seen yet? It means possibility. On a timeline we've never even imagined. And while AI accelerates science, it's also pulling healthcare closer to the individual like us. It's personalizing care in ways that used to be science fiction. Picture a treatment plan based not just on your symptoms, but on your DNA, your environment, your behavior, even your sleep patterns gathered through your wearable tech. Precision medicine isn't just some kind of a buzzword made up. It's becoming the new standard. For the first time, patients aren't just receiving care during visits. They're being monitored 24 seven. Wearables, sensors, and health apps powered by AI collect real-time data, flag warning signs, and even adjust medications without waiting for the next appointment. We're moving from reactive care to proactive care, from checkups to check-ins. But why now? Why is this revolution accelerating at such speed because the pressure on healthcare systems is mounting staff shortages, aging populations, mountains of medical data that no human team could interpret in time. The system was due for a transformation and AI is stepping in not as nobody savior, we're going to debunk that right there. No, but as a partner, as a tool, as an amplifier behind the clinical doors in the day to day grind, AI is even solving problems that don't make headlines like documentation. Doctors often spend more time typing than talking. But now, tools like Heidi Health Act is digital scribes. It acts as digital scribes. Like, I have to say that again. Also, listening to the conversation, drafting clinical notes, and freeing up time for what matters. So, what really matters? What matters is human connection. The same logic applies to surgery. Preparation is everything, okay? It's everything. And AI is now helping patients get ready with personalized instructions, whether it's a tweak in their diet, a medication schedule, or a fitness recommendation, dramatically lowering complication risks and helping ensure better recoveries. And as innovation moves forward, the regulators aren't being left behind. The FDA is piloting AI-driven tools to sift through clinical trials faster, okay? Identify red flags earlier and approve life-saving treatment without sacrificing safety. For the first time, the review process itself, it's getting smarter. But of course, as we hand more responsibility to machines, new questions emerge. So who oversees the overseers? How do we ensure fairness when algorithms are only as good as the data they're trained on? What happens if the, if the data is biased, right? How do we protect patient privacy in an era where AI needs to learn from everything? Ethical frameworks are being built. Boards are being formed. Transparency, fairness, 
and inclusivity must be stitched into the very code of these systems because trust is the foundation of medicine and no algorithm can replace that. Looking forward, the horizon isn't just bright. It is electrifying. We're heading toward hospitals that operate like intelligent ecosystems, virtual nurses checking in on patients around the clock, predictive models warning us of outbreaks before they happen. And perhaps most importantly, access, global access, AI, can bring expert care to places where doctors are few, but mobile networks are strong. It's a chance to level the playing field. So here's the truth. AI isn't coming for healthcare. AI is healthcare. It's becoming the bloodstream of a system that desperately needs new life. And as we stand at the crossroad between tradition and technology, it's not a question of if we should adapt. It's a question of how quickly. Because the hospitals of tomorrow won't look like the ones we know today. They'll be faster, smarter, more human. Because ironically, when machines take care of the noise, the paperwork, the prediction, it frees the people to do what only people can. Care, connect, and heal. This is the unorthodox playbook. And in healthcare's next chapter, the most powerful prescription may come from something that doesn't even have a heartbeat, but knows how to save one until next time. Mm -hmm.